Everyone, got Salty back out. Gonna do some testing tonight here at the track. I uh, got a big race tomorrow for True Street where we do the drive and then race. So I got the radials back on last time you guys saw the car before the uh, pretty much shut down to finish Clyde. I had some issues getting the car to 60 foot and run the time that it did. It was going like 6 O's ish. I uh, usually kind of go 580s and I actually turned it up more and it still only went 6 O's. So uh, I'm thinking I was losing the 60 foot to the radial, not having the radial on it. I was running the bias fly. So now that I got the uh, 275 Pros back on the car, I think we're going to be good to go. So I'm going to head up right now, make a hit, and then uh, see how it does. So after one pass, we grabbed the slip real quick. It uh, didn't do any better than it did with the other tires. So maybe it wasn't the tires. Um, looking at it here, it looks like it went uh, 156 to the 60 foot, went 118 to the eighth and went 611, which is pretty much what it was doing uh, with the other combo on it. Uh, I turned it up a little bit, gonna go give it some. But on that pass, usually it would go 580 at like 121, 122. So I'm thinking that either the tranny's letting it push through or the, uh, either the tranny's letting it push through or I got a bad plug or a couple plugs. So might need to check plugs and switch them out before tomorrow. Pulling all the plugs and everything seems pretty good. I mean, they all look about like this. So they're all looking pretty good. Um, this one looks kind of clean. So did the, uh, number I guess one three um, but otherwise plugs look like they're in fine shape so I don't know if maybe it's a coil not doing something uh, it doesn't look completely washed but I don't know it's hard to say so just gonna, maybe I got bad in coil I'm really not sure what's going on now so I got one more plug to pull might go make another pass before the end of the night but I don't know what will happen for tomorrow and stuff if I can't get the car right I don't really want to just come out and start punishing on it knowing something's wrong. I don't want a cylinder to load up with too much fuel or have bad spark and then it comes in or, you know, just any of those kind of issues. So I'm gonna keep diagnosing, maybe make one more hit, just see what it does. Hey everyone, we are out here. Salty is here. So last night I changed the coils on the car and there's a couple plugs that looked a little goofy. So I went ahead and changed those. I just ran out of time. Otherwise I'd put all another set in it. Uh, but we're gonna have to leave that for hopefully we get a first test. I'm not exactly sure. We got the True Street cars here. So I'm gonna lead the route because it's a route that I've done before for an event that I put on before. So we got everybody lined up out here. Um, so we're gonna go do about a 30 minute drive and then we'll be back here, probably make a test hit and then we'll pull chips or do however they're doing it. Uh, it's kind of laid out like a no prep, but I guess they're prepping this deal. Um, it's called the Red, White and Blue event just after 4th of July here. So um, we're gonna go do some streetcar things, come back and race and see what happens. Ended up making it through the cruise, got the car weighed in. It was way heavier than it needed to be. So got everything ready, got a tune up in it. Uh, I'm gonna go hopefully see if the 60 foot comes around. If not, I'm guessing the tranny's probably pretty, pretty beat up, pretty tired. So uh, ended up putting new coils in. So I had somebody bring me, thanks to GB for bringing me those last night. Gonna get those uh, a try. But I put it up on the two-step, and I was trying to see if it'd come up any quicker. It didn't seem to come up any quicker. So uh, I'm just thinking that the car's just not like pushing through the power. I think it's just slipping through in first gear. Um, but time will tell. We'll make another couple of hits tonight. If any, nothing gets better, I'll start troubleshooting some more stuff. But boost looks good. Uh, everything's there that it should be, but it's just slowed down. So especially in the 60 foot, and that's what makes me think that it's slipping. Because um, on the hard hit, it's just not grabbing all the power. So I'm gonna go up, make our first hit, and we'll see how it does. So this will be the first. 
place the cars back to running 580s. So he went a 550, I went a 580. So at least the car's back in the fives. So that's a that's a solid uh, solid look. So probably depending on who we draw, I'll probably turn it up a little bit more. But uh, it should have been about 18 pounds. I went 580, 120 something it looked like. So. Uh, Maybe those couple plugs and the, uh, the tune-up, maybe that, maybe that was all better. So, see what the 60 foot is here in a second, and then go from there and figure out what I'm gonna do for the tune-up on the next pass. All right, so after about a three hour cleanup after somebody oiled down the track, we're finally getting ready for round one of True Street. Uh, I ended up pulling the buy round, or the buy chip. Uh, so I get a buy in the first round, uh, add a little bit more to it, see if we can get it to go 70, uh, see if we can get a little bit more 60 foot out of it. Just go from there. Second round. So the fastest pass Salty has ever made, 563 at 124 mile an hour. I had to throw more in the 60, fastest 60 the car's ever done, 131. Um, mile an hour still down a little on the top side, but 124 I'll take it. Uh, had to throw a little bit more in it. Um, we've had three oil downs, it's taken forever, it's way late, ran out of generator, gas and everything, but uh, moving on to, I think this will be the final. Um, of True Street, so at the final again, gonna look over the data, see if I can put a little bit more in it. Just uh, just on a chance that hopefully I can get around them. Or I think the last pass that the guy I'll be racing made like was a 70, so I got a 60 in it. Um, but I want to have actually a little bit more if I can be on the tree better. My trees, my reaction time gets a little bit better every time. So gonna go over data, check everything on the car, get back up there, and hopefully win this thing. Unfortunately, that's how racing goes. The final, uh, the bump box ended up malfunctioning and the button stuck. So it caused the bump button to keep uh, applying and which caused me to almost go through an almost red light, but I was able to grab the foot brake, launch the car, uh, ended up going like a 587 to his 580, but I was way late on the tree. I uh, wasn't able to leave on good boost or anything. I was really hoping that that was going to be my 550 pass, but still cool. The car ended up going its fastest pass ever with the 564 or 3 there earlier in the rounds. So still super happy with the car. I've since came home and fixed the bump button. Show you guys. So this is how I have it set up. Trans brake on, bump in. Uh, and if this sticks on, if you just hold it on, or if the button malfunctions and sticks, um, it has a predetermined time in the bump that it will just keep activating and bumping the car in. Uh, unfortunately, that's that's a turbo car issues or whatever, so we'll uh, it's fixed now, all's good, and on to the next race. So thank you guys so much for watching another episode of Build Tune Race. If you have not yet, please hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next video.